Motorola Q14 Wi-Fi 6 eMesh System Review Motorola has recently unveiled Q14 Wi-Fi 6 eMesh System delves into the cutting-edge world of Wi-Fi 6E for $649.99. Installing the three pieces is literally a breeze and it includes some appealing features. For instance, multi-gig Ethernet connectivity, free parental control, network security programs, and of course speedy data transmissions from Wi-Fi 6E. Unfortunately, this isn't all that great since the Motorola system's bandwidth 6 GHz is bound to its automatic band steering feature and one can't assign a specific network name to it. Although the Q14 does its job impeccably, we still recommend Eero Pro 6E as our pick for Wi-Fi 6E mesh systems as it functions better overall and serves as a home automation hub too. The Motorola Q14 system, which provides coverage of up to 5,000 square feet, costs $649.99 and comes with three identical nodes. For smaller homes, a two-pack that covers 3,500 square feet is available for $429.99. Unfortunately, these prices can be quite expensive. However, discounts can be found and it may be worth waiting for a sale. The cylindrical nodes are contained with a gray fabric covering and a mini LED signal on the front. Every node proportions 6.3 by 6.1 by 4.7 inches. The LED will flash white as it powers up, transforming to a single white light when both the router node is linked to the internet and the extender node links with the router. Blinking amber indicates that the router node is attempting to connect with the internet and that the extender node is trying to link with the router. Alternatively, flashing blue implies that either one of the nodes is in Wi-Fi protected setup discovery mode. At the peak of the node, there is an air vent cover that sports the Motorola AM symbol. At its backside, there are a 2.5 GB WAN LAN port, a 1 GB LAN port, and reset and WPS keys with built-in surge protection. You can use the LAN port for wired backhaul transmissions or allow the system to handle it wirelessly using any one of the three available radio bands. Unlike the Asus Zen Wi-Fi ET8, no USB ports are present in the Q14. Inside each node lies six internal antennas, a 1 GHz dual-core processor, 512 MB of DDR3 RAM, and 16 MB NOR along with 4 GB SEMP flash memory. As one of the few Wi-Fi 6E systems available, the Q14 is pleasingly able to broadcast data over the uncongested 6 GHz band in addition to the commonly used 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz radio frequencies. Surprisingly though, it's the first of these Wi-Fi 6E routers or mesh kits tested that doesn't provide a service for direct connection to said 6 GHz bands. Instead, it automatically determines which would be best through its band steering function. Each alternative 6E system tested so far implements band steering for both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands but generates its own special SSID for connecting to 6 GHz networks. Dissimilarly, with the Q14 you only receive one SSID for all three bands combined. Equivalent to the Motorola Q11 we examined a couple of months ago, the Q14 works with the same MotoSync mobile app. My network is displayed on the user-friendly app's home screen with logos representing each node, plus the network name and connected device numbers are also included. You can swipe downwards to access Wi-Fi settings and the security center, activate full home filters, initiate speed tests, and check data use figures for nodes and clients. When you click on any node, you can see which devices it is connected to view its IP, MAC addresses as well as firmware version. The reboot button can be used whenever necessary to restart the node if needed. When you adjust Wi-Fi settings, you can change the SSID and password, and see which devices are online. However, there is no way to choose a Wi-Fi channel, grant priority to any particular device or network or have separate radio bands. You cannot pick which band you want your device to connect to. By checking the security center panel, you can identify any potential security threats like recent malware or malicious intrusions. To complete a speed test, click on the connection panel. Through the test, you can find out if your current internet connection is fast enough for streaming videos in SD, HD, and 4K. Playing online games, downloading and streaming music, and web browsing. At the base of the My Networks page, there are four buttons, Profiles, Shopping, Support, and Settings. When you click on the first one, 
it opens up a window in which you can develop user profiles and assign equipment to them. You can also monitor network usage data for each user here, time connected online and which sites were visited. Enable filters that prevent websites with adult or malicious info, depend on time limits for the internet, disallow ads and ad tracking as well.